I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, let's go ahead and do a roll call. Um, uh, Alder Feldy? I'm here. I'm here. Great. Alder here. Feldy? Here. Here. Alder Decker? Here. Great. Alder Ackley is excused. Alder Salazar here. Um, if we can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Um, do, do we need to do any introductions? Nick Noster from the fire department. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Um, all right. We'll move on to agenda item number five: approval of the minutes for the October twenty fifth, twenty twenty three meeting. Move to approve. Oh, second. Great. Um, any discussion? Great. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. I'm an aye. Thanks, Barb. Um, any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Minutes are approved. Okay. Agenda item number six. Resolution number 92324, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the joint powers agreement for the Sheboygan County, for Sheboygan County and the city of Sheboygan 911 emergency system. Um, who am I passing this off to? I can speak to them. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> this is an annual agreement. Our office has reviewed it and would recommend approval as is. Okay. Any, yep, go ahead. Question. Um, why is why is it done on an annual basis and not uh, 10 years? I mean, it's not going to go away. This is, you'd approve this every year regardless. That's a great question. Um, <laughs> typically, we like to see contracts have a little longer life than a single year. Uh -huh. um, I would have to suspect that there is a statutory provision that relates to this because of budgeting and appropriations, things like that. Um, but I haven't researched that question, so I can't give you an educated answer. Because yeah, I remember doing this before, and I thought, well, why don't we do it for five years? Why don't we do it? Yeah. Yeah, there are there are issues, generally speaking, with encumbering the city financially before a council has approved that expense in that year's budget. Mm -hmm. um, so typically, when we have long-term contracts that extend beyond the current year, we include a provision in there that says the city is going to be able to withdraw from this agreement if funds aren't aren't granted in the future. Um, and so I would expect that if we were to do a longer term agreement here, but it may be that there are reasons why that type of provision is not desirable for either party. And so then the alternative would be a year. Well, the other thing I thought is maybe because we're working with another government body, you mean there's, you know, and they always want it on a year. You know what I mean? So then we're going to do it their way or or something like there, maybe. That could be. Yeah. If you'd like, I can look into this further. I, I'm going to prove anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could Good be. The, it could be the county's way. The way they do their budgeting too, and the same thing. You know, so it's a little bit. Got to get a mesh this way. I will make a motion to approve that. Second. Okay, we've got a motion and second. Any other discussion? Great. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Chair votes aye. Uh, motion is approved. Okay, uh, agenda item number seven, RO number 6923-24 by city clerk submitting various license applications. Um, yeah, I can speak to that. Thank you. Attorney <laughs> Adams has reviewed the license applications that were included in this week's meeting. Um, he recommends uh, approval. There was one with a class A beer application he has a notation in here that there was a correction of premise needed. That has been corrected. So there's no, no reservations on approval then. Cool. Any other questions? Great. Looking for a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Great. I got a motion and second. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion is approved. Okay. Um, number eight, discussion regarding the time of future committee meetings. There is a six month period out of the year where I have a very hard time getting here at 415. And I am, as you've known, the last three, I'm having a hard time making it. So um, I would be interested in hearing any discussion of even moving it back to like 430 or five o'clock. 
I would be interested to hear what other committee members say. I did reach out to um, Alder Ackley, but she is at work, so um, I, I don't know that she'll be able to respond until later. I've, uh, I've always been in favor of the 4.30 because for me, it's I get off of work at 3.30 and I, yeah, I get here, but it's it's a rush. It's, you know, an extra 15 minutes, believe it or not, makes a big difference for me. <laughs> so that's my... Let me know when it is. Great. <laughs> Barb, do you have any feelings about moving the time back about maybe a half hour or um, 15 minutes? To what would be the time then? Uh, 4.30. Um, I have no, no qualms with that. Great. Okay. May I offer just a comment from our office? Sure. That the minutes for the committee are currently taken by an employee who is paid at an hourly rate. Yeah. Uh, so there, there is a concern that if we have a longer agenda and the meeting goes beyond five o'clock, that we may run into an overtime situation, mm -hmm. given the timing of common council agenda submission deadlines and the role that our office plays in all of that. It's very difficult to uh, balance that out within the week that it's incurred. Uh, I don't think that'll be a huge issue if the meetings are starting at 4.30. Mm -hmm. If there's a longer agenda, uh, perhaps it could be that, that the minute taking um, is split between individuals or sure. someone else from our office takes over at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Um, so, so we're open to that as well, but just want the committee to be mindful of sure. staff. Yeah, I mean, this is the one of the only committees in, that I understand that meets this early. So all the other committees don't actually meet until five o'clock. And so I absolutely hear what you're saying, but we do have a working council. And so <laughs> we have to sort of make it work. And yeah. if I have to make a choice, I will pick my full-time job over this. So um, the other piece of uh, information was like, if, if, if 415 is the one, like we could have a discussion about keeping people, giving the option of remoting in. Like if I'm stuck at work and I don't remember her and I can't leave early, yeah. it would be easy for me to log in and remote in versus trying to rush from my employer to get here on time. Because mm -hmm. the last time I did that, I was slightly speedy. But, um, and I believe would, the council rules would allow for that as long as the agendas were properly noticed. And if I, we just as a matter forecast. of course put that on every LHPS agenda, yeah. we could cover that. Great, go ahead. Um, we, we talked. I talked to Chuck about Subiro once before and he had said something. And, and, um, you know, because we had those rules in place for COVID, and then we kind of went back from that. I actually would, I think that that would be something that if, if we if we have to change council rules, if we could change that for even for council, I think would be helpful. That because there are times that all of a sudden, you know, somebody doesn't feel good, but they feel good enough that they could, you know, they, they, they don't, they're sneezing and stuff like that. But I mean, we, there, there was a couple of times where we got kind of close on having a quorum, you know, and somebody gets like well i really don't want to come in but i can do it from home but unless it's published they can't so i mean is there a way that we can change council rules so that it it, it, it is an option for people on a regular basis yes but i would like to see what we, i don't know if the where that would start from from this committee or if we're kind of getting beyond what the i think that's beyond this this agenda item uh, but okay. i would just advise you to work with the legal department and okay crafting that there may be appetite for other council rule changes that could be bundled into it uh, just make sure that you have the necessary support to get that through yeah. and then our office can help you draft and would that be appropriate to go through as putting it in as a committee of the whole or do we just talking to the legal department and then putting it on the trying to get it on the agenda yeah. or yeah um i so, like do we have to have discussion on that I would certainly encourage discussion on it because mm -hmm. everyone is going to have a different opinion on, on things. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I think a committee of the whole provides the best opportunity for that discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could schedule one immediately before a council meeting or something to minimize disruption, sure. I think that would be an option. Okay. Just a, a question. Did you ever think about moving the meeting to the morning? Is there is there another well, time that, that again I, I have I, would not I have the flexibility just, <laughs> just bringing up food for thought. I mean, if you guys want to meet at seven a.m., what time do you start at? <laughs> That's what, that that was the same thing. That was well, that was, you start at what seven? So we, we'd be talking at if, we, if we're going to have like a half hour meeting, I would we'd have to start probably about five thirty a.m. Yeah, five thirty. 
Because okay. yeah, well, I, I still work at 6. You're about having quorum problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one that wants to do it in the morning. I know. I just, I just thought if it's everybody was done, if, yeah, <laughs> I go to commission meeting, it's at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, I'm mm -hmm. going, it, it's just one of those things where some other people are more flexible because of the people that are on, that are members of that committee because of their, they're either retired or they have a chance. Yeah. I mean, you might have a, a was, time I, where I'm always off between uh, 9 and 10 uh, mm -hmm. during the day because that's my lunch break. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, it's, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I think I was, I'm more pertaining to the older committees, like this one, yeah. public works, um, finance and personnel Yeah, are all at the five o'clock yeah. or later start time. But 4.30 is the one we're going to land on. And I think out of the history of all of our meetings in a year, we maybe have, what, two or three that go over. It's not a frequent. If it was a frequent thing, I would say, yeah, let's talk through that. But it feels, I've been on this for two years, and I think we've only had yeah. three late ones. And if we think we're going to be running long, can we just forward those items to the next committee meeting if we didn't have to take action? That committee meeting, and you'd be over within a half an hour anyway. We could do that. Another option is to have those minutes that go beyond five o'clock uh, generated by recording. Yeah. Is long, but that assumes that the recording works as it's required to every time. Yeah. But I think we can make it work between our staff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So in the spirit of saving time, um, let's go ahead and uh, move. St can we start it in the new year? Let's start it in 2024. This is a new budget season. We want to fix this budget. So let's go into the new season. So starting in the January meetings, starting at 430. Um, Barb, did you catch that? Um, I, I missed most of it. Okay. We were saying that we're not going to start until January for this committee meeting to move into the 430 time slot. We're going to keep it consistent for the do you need oh, yeah. a motion to do so? No, it's actually it's it's actually it's actually the uh, chair's discretion. Oh, it's um, just the chair's discretion. So I'm starting in January or moving it to 4:30. Um, I'll make that motion to do so. No, we don't. don't need we don't we don't need a motion, Barb. It's all okay. it's all covered. Thank you, though. Okay. I appreciate your support, but I do need a motion to adjourn. Do you want to make that one? Sure. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Great. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Right. Next meeting date is November 29th.